I just want to show you lastly, here we go, how to make sure you can find, yeah, that's okay, how to make sure you can find each of these on a stem and leaf plot, because so far I think you've mostly been seeing it um, given to you in a table or in a list, but you've got to be careful with data like this, you've got to make sure you read it properly, okay? So we'll do them one at a time. How do we find the mean, here are all your scores now that you can actually read them, how are we going to find the mean here? What kind of information? You look on the side. Um, what information am I going to need? Some of them. Some of all of them. Are just okay, the good. So I'm going to need to add up some scores. Do them with me, right? What are the scores I'm adding up? Um, this is the mean that we're calculating now. 51. 51, 52, etc. Okay, let's get them all down. 51, 52, 60, 62, 65. Okay, good. Someone can be adding these up, by the way. Don't forget this score happens twice, so you include it. Twice, right? 75 and 75. What's next? 86, 87, and? Okay, cool. So you're going to get a number out of all that. Okay, so you've done both, haven't you? You've added them up, and then what did you divide by? 12. Okay, good. So you counted up there 12 scores, and that gives you, can you repeat the number again? 70. That'll do. Five, six, six, six. Uh, yeah, that's cool. All right. Does it seem like a reasonable description of the center of this group? Yeah. I think so. I think it does. And you'll notice the reason why you can, because look at it sideways, this is a pretty normal sort of set of data, right? It's not like it's skewed one way or the other. So that's all right. The mode, that's pretty, actually, no, we're up to a median, sorry. The median. Now, there's two ways to do this, okay? We'll find out whether it's 71 in a second. What's, what's a quick way that I could find out where the middle score is? Yeah. Counting the Okay, good. So I could I could cross off scores. So I could go, there's one at the bottom and one at the top. And the bottom, one at the top. Do you go ascending order? Okay. Do you go ascending order? Like, what if you, for 70, you start from the 5, not from the 1? Ah, so I'm so glad you asked that. Remember I showed you this before, right? Let's put some more scores on the ends here, okay? You kind of, whoops, Daisy. You kind of have to count from both directions, right? Because you want to make sure you meet in the middle. So you'd say, um, one at the bottom, one at the top one at the bottom, one at the top, and then you're like, oh, I've got two left in the middle, and that's why we took the average, okay? So you can see I'm counting both ways, counting both ways. So, so far, I went one, two, three from the bottom. This is the smallest number. I went one, two, three from the top. These are the biggest numbers. Let's keep going. Um, bottom, top, this is counting down, right? Bottom, top, okay, have a look. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be between 71 and 74. So the median is? 72, 72. Okay, now I'll just point out, this was kind of reasonable, like this whole crossing off thing. There are only 12 scores, right? How would we do it if there were like 120 scores? This would take forever, okay? Is there a quicker way that doesn't require me to cross everything off? Probably. Yes. Probably. Oh, yeah. I hope there is, right? It is, the idea of the middle, I said it was like sort of okay as a definition, this is better. But if I told you how many scores there were, for instance, if I said there are 100 scores, you can tell me where the middle is, can't you? Which score should it be? Yeah, I need to say, well, it's going to be around the 50th, right? It's going to be around the 50th. Now, to know exactly, let's think about a simpler one. So if I have one, two, three, four, and five. You guys can all tell me instantly which one the central one is, right? The median. It's clearly going to be three. Okay? What if I said... I'm running out of space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, instantly you can tell me. It's five, right? So how can we, rather than just counting and looking at it, how can we go straight to three or five? So you just like, do you just like divide it by two so you know the position of the number? You and you can six. usually like look at the position of the number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Now... What I'll point out, it's a bit unusual, right? Here's a bit of a trick, and you may want to jot this down where you've got median written down. I'll get a different colour. The shortcut, rather than counting your way there, right, which is quite inefficient, the shortcut is to say, if you've got n terms, like, like five terms, or sorry, scores, or nine scores, right, what you say is, with that number, n, you add one and you divide that by two. Watch how it works. You've got five scores here. So I'm going to add one, which gives me six, and then divide by two, which gives me three. Okay. How about this one? 
Um, the number of scores is 9, so I'm going to add 1, which gives me 10. ten and I divide by 2, which gives me 5. Does that work okay. in every case? That's a, that's a good question. Both of these, you've noticed, are, are, are odd numbers, right? So there's a middle. How about this one? How many scores are there? Six. There are six scores. So if I did this process again, right? If I took that number, added 1, and divided by 2. This is 3 and a half. What does that mean? It's between the third and fourth terms. You're going to have to take the average, right? Does that make sense? So this is a much quicker way of doing things. Um, that's why you should write it down and put a big box around it. Because if you have any decent sized set of scores, then counting is going to take you forever, okay? Find out how many terms there are. You need to know that for like the average and what have you. Add one and then divide the whole number by two. Um, and then to answer your question, well, yeah, it works all the time. It'll land you on the median directly, or it'll tell you you should be halfway between this one and that one. Okay? Okay, to finish, mode's easiest. What's the most common score? 75. Okay, fantastic. So you can see it's the only one that doubles up. Um, I will point out, and you maybe want to write this underneath where you've said mode, it's the only one out of these three measures that you can have multiple ones, right? If, for instance, I was to hijack the data and put in another 52, there's no reason why you can't say 75 and 52, they're both the mode, right? We call it bimodal. And I could say, I could put in another one. Yeah, another 65. 52 and 65 and 75, they're all the mode, okay? So if, for instance, everyone in the class got a different score on an exam, then everyone's mark would be the mode. It's not very useful in that case. 